Hey Kings, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's King Kyra and yeah, welcome back. Anyway, <laughs> it's 12 a.m. October 24 and um, I was supposed to watch a movie but then I decided to be productive and so I edited the video I had with Kitty and um, decided to, you know, film. So here I am. And then I said, okay, you decided to film. What are you gonna film about? What is your content, Kyra? Of course, I was confused. I didn't know what I would talk about, but then I had an idea. So to those of you who know and to those of you who do not know, I'm actually the Mutya ng Davao del Sur 2017. Yes. Kyra Angela Valentin. Pride of Malalag. That's your girl. <laughs> and um, it has been a long time since I've actually rewatched my videos for this pageant. Why don't I watch it with you guys? And actually, the whole video is in YouTube, it's uh, an hour and 30 minutes long. Um, it doesn't have the best quality for a video but bear with me because I have no other videos. Also that I won't actually um, watch the whole video for an hour and 30 minutes. Just skip the parts where I answered and where they featured me, something like that. But yeah, um, I was actually pretty nervous back then. I did undergo a lot of training. I was in a super, super strict diet. So I had trainings on how to answer questions, basic questions, um, what my advocacy was, what I wanted to, to change if, if I were to become the Mutya or if I were to become an ambassadress because actually being a Mutya would mean that you're an ambassadress. And of course, that is a very big role. So yeah, I was pretty nervous back then and um, I had a very strict diet. They told me that I was only allowed to eat rice once a day. God, and I'm a very heavy rice eater, so you already know that was excruciating. But I managed and I had a personal trainer and I had to go to the gym every single day, two months before the pageant and you already know. Um, my body did change. I lost fats and yeah, the biggest thing was that I lost fats. Yeah, so my, my stomach was flattened and the worst part was that two days no a day before the pageant they actually don't let you drink a lot of water to keep your stomach flat and they also tell you to eat less so imagine your nervous self behind the stage with an empty stomach and a scrambled mind to what their and their questions would be to you that's just not a good combination you know but anyway i managed and so did everyone else all 22 of us anyway let's start with the video this youtube account by the way is by mark makils yeah um the title of this video is mutya ng davao del sur 2017 this was in june 30 2017 Watching now. Oh my god, the ladies are entering. No, 
We are entering. I apologize, but I already told you guys that this is a very bad quality video. I don't even know where I am! It's been so long since I watched this video. Oh, there! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, I look so ugly when I dance. I made really good friends here too, by the way. Oh my god. I'm nervous, I don't even know why. It's done, Kyra! Okay, this is all just dancing, I feel. So should we skip that part? Oh my god! Bikini. Okay, everyone's entering. God, I... Oh my god. I swear... God, I'm so shy now. Oh my god. I just can't. I can't say anything. I'm so shy. Oh my god, I'm there. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm number 22, guys. 22. Please don't zoom on me. Hope the camera doesn't zoom on me. Oh my god. Please don't zoom on me. I can't believe I'm looking at myself wearing a bikini on a stage! Oh my god, please don't speak. Okay, more dancing. Let's skip that part. I think the next part would be long gown. I was with very young women. She honestly deserved this. She had a very nice body and a very nice swimsuit. And there I was in her background, so please cut it out now. <laughs> In my opinion, wearing a two-piece or a bathing suit in a competition such as Amutya or Miss Universe, I don't find it relevant. 
My opinion, my opinion. Like, what does a person's body has to do with their influence towards other people, towards their advocacy, towards the change they want to see in the world? I don't know. But that's just my opinion, so... If you think otherwise, then okay, good for you. God, it feels so awkward looking at me. And I'm so small. Five five. With seven inch heels. The casual attire. The casual attire was the one we wore when we were dancing in the first part. So. I actually didn't win any awards. Although I did train very hard for this, so I kind of think I deserve that I work. Do I deserve it? I think I kind of do. I worked hard as all these women did. And yeah. Okay, let's skip this part. I think long, long gown is next. I really like this pageant because it was the 50th anniversary of Davao del Sur and so all the contestants had to wear a gold gown that um, the congresswoman at that time sponsored so all the gowns now belong to us I think yeah. It was all nice because no one really had to say that their gowns were ugly because each and every gown highlighted the contestant itself. And it was everyone was beautiful to be honest. My friend there number 7 she looks like Angel Oxine. <laughs> Look how sexy everyone was. I forgot how I looked, to be honest. The stage design for this was also very nice. It was full of flowers and I really liked it. You can see everyone's makeup was very beautiful. Oh my god, and there I am.
I feel so shy. Oh my god, I can hear the background saying, Go, Kyra. <laughs> I didn't win this though. I didn't win the best in long gown. It's alright. It doesn't really matter. I really had fun that night. All the adrenaline I felt inside. At this point, we were serenaded, but I think I should skip this part. Oh, there he was, holding my hand. My dad's going to kill you. <laughs> Just kidding. My dad's favorite song. Okay, let me skip this part because it's kind of a long serenade. He was basically highlighting everyone and it was good. Thank you so much. Another dance. Oh my god, the cute. Okay, can I just pause this for a while? Um, I'm just gonna choose random numbers. So I don't want to include everyone's answers because it's gonna be a long ass video. Let's just skim right through everyone's answers. Um, if you really want to watch the whole video, then I'll link it down below. But I don't think I have time for that. So let's watch it now. Yes. In order to succeed, we must first believe that we can. So at this point, you have to choose which question you have. So you can really hear her voice shaking and it's super normal and it's okay because it's really scary to be facing an audience, especially when you're joining a pageant and I hope you don't roast anyone here because it's really not easy. I think I also stuttered a little at my turn answering a question but still, everyone has their own experience of actually being on stage and of course you can't know how one feels when they're on stage in a pageant because unless you've been there but it's really not easy so please don't judge anyone who stutters on stage so what answer what what did i say number one 12 15 i think i included 18 
Okay, let's. Number two. Wow, that's still so far. Oh my god. Let's include candidate number seven because I really like her. She's she's my closest friend. First runner up, by the way. Just finding myself a good position. a very proud sister okay let's skip I'm at the background and it's obvious that I'm nervous God, my laptop is very full. I can't do a part two. What am I supposed to do? Ah! God, I'm so nervous. That's a tough question. God, it's almost my turn and I'm still nervous and this was done it's done Oh my 
god, it's my. Good evening to you. <laughs> Oh my god. 